Trinity Cathedral Senior High School, located in the heart of Accra, is one of the oldest and most prestigious schools in Ghana. Founded in 1940, the school has a long history of academic excellence and has produced some of the country's most prominent leaders. However, despite its massive reputation, the school is currently facing major problems, which is poor classroom infrastructure. Several classrooms in the school are in a state of despair with broken windows, leaking roof and dilapidated decks and chairs. The school's administration has also acknowledged the problem and has promised to take action. Those classrooms which are affected are not used, especially when it rains. But um, when for strikes about it, I'm not, I'm not aware of that. Our teachers are going to class. Every teacher goes to class as despite, yeah, despite the situation. But when it rains or when it's about to rain and it's um, cloudy there, they move down. So we don't have um, to be, um, to go to that place when it's raining, that one. Even um, the problem is more serious when it's windy and then uh, the roof tries to come down and we, we are almost um, afraid when um, the roofs are coming down. That one is more dangerous. Sometimes when it's windy or cloudy, then they will need to come down and uh, it would affect them in that. Even when it's not windy or cloudy and the place is open, it becomes difficult to um, even sit there to read because it becomes more scary when you are just there and you hear a crow up. So it becomes a little scary in that order. So it's that is what makes it more scary. We have um, written officially to GS as part of our complaints for the um, roof and also uh, seek assistance in terms of um, helping us to solve the problem. So we are still um, trying as much as possible to see how best we could um, sort the problem out with um, our authorities. We hope uh, before the end of this semester we'll have uh, something positive from it. We'll call on all to try as much as possible to help us. All those who are touched by the story to try as much as possible to help us come to our aid to fix our roof so that uh, teaching and learning can be um, moved forward. Speaking to some of the students, they say that this situation is having a toll on their studies. There's a lot of effects to the A2 class, yes. And there's no way a teacher will come to the class to teach while there's water in the class. So, a lot of effects. You can see, since I came to what class? From Form 1. Which year? Um, 2000 and 2022. I think they have to fix it because we need it a lot. If it is not fixed, there's no way lessons will be carried on. So, we need and them to fix it for us. Like the building was like this. And then this also affects my study. Sometimes when I come to school and the empty training, like I like I, I can't focus on it because like teachers don't come around like to teach us. And sometimes too like but like the time will come instead of us to to like to be learning, we will be rather sweeping our class and others to also be learning. So this has already like it has like it has really affect us. And in our class our roof it's sports which it affects us when our teachers come and they are like they don't want to teach us because the class is wet and sometimes our bar gets wet and maybe when we go to the cathedral for worship and we come back we notice that our bags are wet 
due to the roof which is broken, which brings in water into our classroom. Two challenges we have in this school is that our fans aren't working properly, so there's so much heat in the class, so there's poor ventilation here. And also, we don't have enough tables and chairs in the class for learning and studying. However, the school's limited resources and competing priorities makes it difficult to address the problem quickly. The school, like many public schools in Ghana, relies heavily on government funding, which is often inadequate and unreliable. Poor classroom infrastructure at the Holy Trinity Senior High School is a reflection of a broader problem facing public schools in Ghana. Despite the government's efforts to improve education, many schools still lack the basic infrastructure structure and resources necessary to provide a quality education to their students. Without urgent actions to address this problem, the future of Ghana's next generation may be in jeopardy. Reporting for Adwa News, my name is Na Anyama Collison Accra.